What's poppin' Neon Nation? Welcome back to the Neon Arcade for some more Cyberpunk 2077. Today we're talking about the top 10 cyberware and cybernetic implants and augmentations that we can see in Cyberpunk 2077 that originate from the Cyberpunk 2020 source material. We have a ton of unique, useful, and wacky things on this list, so be sure to stick around to see what augment takes that number one spot. At number 10 we have spike heels, spike hands, and ripper hands. These augmentations are exactly how they sound. A spike heel is a 6 inch spike protruding from the heel that allows the user to dish out some serious kick damage. It can also be used similarly to the mantis blades in that it allows you to climb and anchor yourself to various structures. A spike hand is a hardened titanium spike which telescopes out of the wrist and through the lower palm. It can be useful for climbing and assassinations. Ripper hands are similar to spike hands but think of it as being more on par with wolverine's blades. The only difference is that they originate from the wrist and upper hand. At number 9 we have pain editors. Pain editors are coprocessors that plug into a central neural processor. A central processor allows you to interface with computers, databases, machines, and vehicles. Pain editors override the pain receptors of the brain, making the subject immune to torture, deprivation, and physical assault. Once the editor wears off, you feel the entirety of the pain but in a heated moment can be useful for focus and mental acuity. At number 8 we have the Dark Gun Cyber Optic. Again this one is pretty self explanatory and mix optics with discrete weaponry. This is an optic which carries a poison dart that can be fired from it and can penetrate a variety of different types of armors. At number 7 we have Super Chrome. Super Chrome is a limb covering that as you can imagine is completely chrome. You can chrome out your legs or arms, like Johnny Silverhand, or take a more extreme approach with full chrome like Lizzy Wizzy. Super Chrome seems to have been carried over from 2020 and we can even interact with a chrome augmentation sign in the world of 2077. At number 6 we have the Biomonitor. The Biomonitor is probably one of the most useful pieces of cyberware in the world of cyberpunk. It is the favorite of solos and gadget freaks and is mounted just below the skin of the forearm. The biomonitor gives a constant readout of pulse, respiration, brain waves, blood sugar, temperature, and cholesterol levels. You can roll back your sleeve to check your vitals on top of your forearm. Red text is bad and green is good. It's unclear if in 2077 the biomonitor is still on the forearm, but V jacks into Sandra Dorset's biomonitor to read her particular vitals. V has a biomonitor installed as well, and we can see this in the menu interface. At number 5 we have the Wehrman. The Wehrman is most likely a play on the Walkman, which believe it or not first came out in 1979. A variant of a radio splice, the Wehrman mounts twin vibration speakers on your mastoid bones, making your skull into an audio system of concert hall quality. A chip mount is set onto your earlobes, and music chips are plugged into them, all fashioned to look like earrings. I gotta say, this seems a lot more cool than AirPods. At number 4 we have tech hair, synth skins, and light tattoos, some of the brightest pieces of fashion wear in the cyberpunk world. Tech hair are strands that are infused with reactive chemicals. Some are temperature sensitive and change color and shape dependent on the weather conditions. Others contain pigments used in light tattoos and glow a variety of different shades. Tech hair can be implanted into mohawks, weaves, full hair pieces, beards, mustaches, and other how shall I say, more discreet locations. At number 3 we have nanosurgeons which are technically a bioware implant. Nanosurgeons are microscopic machines adapted to surgical repair. They're placed inside of your body and are responsible for repairing damaged tissue, bone and tendons with micro stitching. They can also seal off blood vessels and nanosurgeons effectively double your rate of healing. It's pretty useful in and out of combat. At number 2 we have reflex chips which are a part of chipware. Reflex or APTR chips are placed into the previously mentioned neural processor and is like having instantaneous skills whenever you want them. They range in a variety of physical skills and reflex based skills like firing a weapon or hand to hand combat. This allows even an untrained street dweller to perform like a martial arts master or seasoned solo. There are different levels of skill chips ranging in proficiencies. Fun fact of the day, the song Chippin' In by Johnny Silverhand is a reference to the process of a reflex chip adapting its instructions to your specific neural and muscular patterns, which is called chipping in. At number 1 we have everyone's favorite augmentation, the Mr. Stud Sexual Implant. 
Now we don't know a whole lot about what it actually does, but the catchphrase uses all night every night and she'll never know. Now this is probably in regards to your extracurricular stamina, but there's not too much more of a description for us to glean over. All I know is augmenting your genitalia is quintessential cyberpunk zaniness. There's also a female version called the Midnight Lady. Thanks for watching guys and for more Cyberpunk 2077, join Neon Nation by subscribing to the Neon Arcade.